Hello everybody, this is Olga Yershevsky and this, this is an exchange interview series. I'm here in Moscow, Russia at Terra Crypto Summit and I'm here with Edward Liu. He's a um, senior vice president of Canon Creative, uh, a major mining company. And uh, well, Edward, thanks for being with us. And my first question is, of course, about the IPO. Everyone's been talking about it over the, uh, the past several weeks. Can you tell us, can you go a little more into details about that? Okay, thank you. First of all, thank you. Thank you for uh, having thank me interviewed. And well, IPO, I think, it, well, th first of all, Canon is the number one, kind of the first company that be enlisted, NASDAQ listed in this industry, not only in mining industries, but also Canon is AI company. So be being a AI chips uh, first AI uh, AI chips company being listed in Nasdaq as well. Look, talking a bit further, I think uh, we feel proud of it being the first company listed in Nasdaq. But on the uh, in the same time, I think this is not only for Canon; it should be a sort of for the whole industry. I think at least we feel. When Canon being listed on Nasdaq, it means that the financial market is able to recognize the mining industries. And I believe Canon is the first, but I believe there will be the second one, third one, fourth one, the coming. And that is a very positive thing, showing that financial market, international financial market, recognize this industry. It's good for the whole industry. Right, that's right. I know that before the IPO launch, um, so that IPO launch preceded several attempts to do it in uh, different jurisdictions. So basically, what were the major challenges and problems that you faced while filing for IPO? I, I, I don't think it's a challenge from the inside. It's more or less the policies we all know that inside of China, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a new industry. This is a new thing for the uh, management of those stock markets. So it's more or less, it's the policy. But finally, we are able and we are very happy that to see the international market, financial market, like in New York, the NASDAQ, recognize this kind of industry and having this being listed. So that means that the U.S. Um, essentially has a better, more friendly environment for this. I, I can't agree to that. <laughs> I, I agree, I mean, uh, they are probably more friendly and also more advanced in understanding this industry. Okay. Um, and what about the recent uh, narrative picked up by China and by President Xi Jinping about the, uh, the whole digital transformation thing? New policy towards blockchain, blockchain adoption, mm -hmm. uh, smart technologies adoption. How will it help China? Do you even expect this happening? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I think this is a very good thing for all of us. It, it is a positive uh, signal from the central government. Our president, Mr. Xi Jinping, announced that. And this is also good for all the industries. I think from now on, I see different government uh, levels. They are all uh, encouraging this industry, uh, which makes the industry grow more faster and positive, not only in terms of financially supporting, but also, I think, in terms of technology. That will help the industry grow a lot. What other technologies, other than blockchain, do you think will be adopted in the near future? Uh, I didn't get your mm? other. I didn't get your questions. What other technologies, like AI, maybe I don't know some. Yeah, blockchain smart... related, right? Yes, blockchain related. Uh, yeah, blockchain related. related. I think uh, AI chips industry mm -hmm. and also the uh, crypto colors uh, digital currencies yes. the central bank can manage mm -hmm. etc i think a lot of things can be uh, developed around alongside this uh, blockchain development what do you think about the pboc's initiative by the way about the central bank digital currency issue do you think it will happen in the near future in 2020 i don't know you know this is not a question i can answer but i can see uh, when i read the chinese newspapers i see a lot of positive uh, comments on that and a lot of movements i can feel mm -hmm. Do you think this will help uh, renminbi seek a global currency status? Oh, again. Globally. 
internationally. Olga, okay, you're asking me a few questions that are out of my uh, knowledge, to be honest. Okay. Really, to be honest. Maybe really you have an opinion on that, just, uh, just an well, opinion. Personally, I think this will help. Mm -hmm. This will help. Okay. Uh, and uh, finally, what are you think uh, today are global current major trends for the mining industry? Where does it go? How has it developed over the last, let's say, couple of years? And where is it going? What's new? And what's hot? <laughs> ah, what's new? What's hot? I think, first of all, this industry has been developing in the last few years. And there's no new news, the real new news, I don't think. Right? The trend is not only talking about technologies. I think uh, industries are doing a lot, improving the efficiency, improving the performance, etc., using the technologies. On the other side, I do see uh, a few markets around the world, in North America or in the CIS countries, including our Russia market, mm -hmm. and inside of China, are open and are positive to see the trend is growing. Okay, we hope that the trend will continue to grow. <laughs> I do hope this trend will continue and that will help the whole industry grow positive and health. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Edward. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. you.